Imagine your kid is out playing in a game and they collide with another player hard. They fall to the ground, the whistle's blown, coaches rush out to evaluate the situation. Kids say they're okay. They pop up, come out of the game, everybody applauds, the game continues. In the back of your mind though, you're wondering, is everything okay? They didn't get knocked unconscious, so it's not a concussion, right? Eh, wrong. Very small percentage of people who suffer a concussion actually become unconscious. My first experience happened with a concussion uh, when I was in elementary school. And a concussion is just a blow, a bump, a jolt to the head. So uh, my brother and I were racing down to the bathroom, okay? And we got closer to the finish line, and I realized he's going to beat me. And I don't want to say that I'm a sore loser. I wasn't happy with it, so I gave him a little love tap. I pushed him. He went flying, and he smoked his head on the ring of the toilet. Eyebrow swelled up. He got dizzy, disoriented, got queasy to his stomach. And he, we just watched him, waited for a couple of days, okay, and things resolved. And that's pretty common, okay. About 10 days, I would say, is when most concussion symptoms usually resolve. I bet you didn't know, though, that one in five concussion cases actually go on to become a chronic issue. And what is the age-old advice for concussions? Rest. Rest in a dark, dark place. Now, yes, you want to rest right away after a concussion, but new research is actually suggesting that it's actually doing more harm than good to rest a few days following concussion. Think about it from the nervous system and the brain, okay? The brain is an always adapting, forever changing organ that is taking information that it gets at all times and integrating it into your body, telling it what to do, when to do it, how to do it. So it needs that information. So depriving yourself and your kids of that sensory stimulation is actually slowing, it's actually hindering the healing process. So what should you do when you take a porcelain toilet to the eyebrow. Yes, you want to rest and take it easy right away, but you should also come see your friendly neighborhood chiropractor who can help you in flooding your brain with positive, balanced information so your body is best able to heal.